back, I was able to review a helmet by a company called SMK. It is this SMK Retro Helmet, a review for which you can find up in this corner. In general, I found this helmet to be well made. I was pleasantly surprised by the craftsmanship. Uh, the company, SMK, wanted to send me a different helmet to take a look at, and this is the first time I'm going to be looking at it, unpacking it, and uh, going through the, some of the features that are on this helmet. The company itself, SMK, I believe they're based out of India, I'm not 100% sure. It appears that they're expanding globally. They have a really, uh, really nice US-based website where they are listing all the helmets that are currently available in this particular market. I don't think the retro is, but there's a version of a retro, I think a three-quarters of three-quarter helmet version of this helmet is available. But they did send me the one that is available, and I believe it's called the Gullwing. So let's take a look. Let's move this bad boy down. It's a nice box. Striking colors, red on black. So kind of like a standard uh, helmet sock. Okay. It does come with a pin lock screen, which is nice. And all the additional doodads, including a nice little keychain. Let's see what this helmet looks like. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know what they actually sent me. Oh, okay. And there we go. So this is the SMK Gullwing in uh, what appears to be a gray, metallic gray finish with matte black accents, which is kind of nice, actually. I do appreciate that look. And I think the reason why it's called the Gullwing is because of this feature. It is a modular helmet, which is very nice, which means that it has a dual screen, which is also nice. Hang in there with me for a second. I will put this on and show you what it looks like on a person. But for now, let's go through some of the features. So feature number one is that it has the modular system, which is very nice for touring. It does make the helmet a little bit heavier than a standard full face, but what you gain in the weight, you also gain the features that come with that sort of configuration, which is being able to pop this open and allow for more air to come through. Okay, so I immediately see two vents, one this way, which is kind of nice. It allows the air to come this way. One, two, three, four. Four notches for the helmet where it can stay open. Okay, there's the vent up at the top, which can open all the way, or it can also click into various different stages as well. Now, moving to the back, the back has exit vents. You can see right here. Vent right here, vent right here, and you have your DOT certification right here as well. You have that extra visor that I was showing you earlier. You can see right there. Nice sun visor. So uh, eliminates the the need to wear sunglasses or putting an extra or carrying an extra visor with you. The straps are a ratchet system. You can hear that, which is very convenient. The inside is a really plush kind of liner. The SMK Gullwing modular helmet comes in three different color configurations. You have the solid unicolor, as they call it, the tecker, uh, which is kind of like this blue, black, matte finish, and the cresto, which comes in two different color configurations. According to the SMK Helmets website, this helmet has advanced ventilation is abrasion resistant, is Pinlock 70 ready, has anti-static moisture controlled fabrics, and is DOT and ECE certified. Some of the features include removable washable liner, double shelled, breath deflector, breathable liner, channeled exhausts, chin air vents, dual shield system, wind protector, hot air exhaust, hypoallergenic liner, multi-density EPS, Pinlock anti-fog, quick release strap, quick release shield, reinforced strap, scratch resistant shield, top air vents, and UV resistant shield. So some of my final thoughts on this SMK Gullwing. 
uh, fit and finish, top notch. Very well done. I like the materials. Everything fits uh, just right. Looks great. Uh, all the latches close. The couple of things that I don't like about the Gullwing and they can be a couple of minor things. The um, internal shield, the sun visor, doesn't seem to come down far enough and doesn't, it, my eyesight is just about where it kind of sort of ends. Uh, but that could be due to the next thing that I don't like and that is the actual fit on my head. Now I'm a typical traditional medium in the US which is I believe 58, 59 centimeter, uh, 22 to 23 inches. Um, this fits just a tiny, tiny little bit small on me. So if you are a traditional, typical medium in the United States and you are um, thinking about getting this Gullwing um, helmet, consider maybe moving a size up, um, maybe to a large. It is just a tiny little bit tight, okay? Minor thing, it still fits okay. Um, I could foresee riding with this, if I'm riding this for a long time, potentially getting some pressure spots, maybe a headache, that sort of thing. Now, for a helmet that is made for touring, which is what modular helmets are great for, that could be a bit of an issue. So that's something to think about. Otherwise, the inside, the interior liner, Overall uh, build of the product is pretty, pretty good. Um, I believe the single color, which is this one, is somewhere is based off of the SMK site, somewhere around $150, $160. Big thanks to SMK for sending this to me uh, to review. I appreciate you clicking on this video. Thanks for coming. If you like this review, I have a bunch more of other products, including the retro helmet that I had previously reviewed. Gear, helmets, gloves, pants, you can click on them. Have at it. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help my channel grow. Thanks a lot, and ride safe, guys.